Yep, it's your boy OG Cooking. You are, in fact, tuning in to the More Muse podcast, clocked in for another week. This week, I got a very special guest online. I'm joined in by a straight baller, you know, product of the 910, the 9 Dom Jacksonville to be exact. And don't leave her open in the corner. I promise you, she's going to hit it every time. Kennedy Ty Williams, what's going on? Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. For How sure. you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Not too for bad. Sure. For sure. So now let me tell you before we get started. Now, when I first had the, the idea of this podcast, I, I was making a potential guest list and you were definitely one of those on that list. And just because of the simple fact that I've, I've seen you, I saw a few of your, uh, your senior highlights and I've seen you play at Carolina since your freshman year. So I, first off, I just want to say thank you for coming and thank you for joining me. I know you're busy. You know what I'm saying? Life of a college athlete. So thank you. I'm honored. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, yes, sir. We in a good we we got a good one today, y'all. So first off, I want to ask you, when did you fall in love with the game of basketball? What made you take it so serious? Um, I fell in love with the game probably whenever I was around five. I think I was um in the backcourt with my my sister and my brother. You know, I grew up with the basketball family. My dad played um overseas and actually played college ball. Um, and my sister and brothers, they play, or my sister and brother, they played, um, they're actually, my sister is now a coach, um, but she played at Cape Fear and then my brother, he played at a Juco, um, and is still playing right now. So I think I just fell in love with it because of how competitive and how like fun it was that I had whenever I was, you know, five years old playing, you know, I was always losing. But it was a good fight for sure, you know, like, I mean, it, it definitely gave me that competitive push. So um, definitely I started whenever I was five, uh, continued to play up until, you know, you know, right now and, you right. know, and can't wait to, you know, further my career with it. Um, so I just stuck with it ever since, you know, I played um, volleyball, softball, soccer, uh, track and stuff like that but like you know it was just not never never enough for me you know to right. actually settle down so I think this is you know basketball is who I not who I am but like you know it's a part of me that like right. I carry on today so just super proud of that and you know just thankful to you know be able to have this gift to play play this game so no doubt now like I said you, you're from the nine down Jacksonville so you, you you went to Jacksonville high how was the competition like in Jacksonville because I'm from Kenston so we had some pretty tough uh, competition growing up. So how was how was the competition in Jacksonville? Um, the competition was very good. I mean, whenever I was a freshman, like it was like I don't know. Whenever I was a freshman, there was always like great competition because I'm going against older players. I'm on the var- I was on the varsity team my freshman year. Um, so uh, just being able to play with like my I played with my sister. So like you know uh, her class, like and everybody that like you know were ended up playing AU ball. I ended up playing AU ball with some of them. Um, but the, 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 the competition was very, very high. Um, so obviously freshman, I'm over here like, Oh shoot. Like these are big, big guards, you know, big, big players. Um, so I thought it was pretty high, uh, ever since like, you know, I started getting older, like, you know, it was like, you know, okay, I can handle these girls now. Like, you know, so it wasn't bad, but there was always the rivalry between like, you know, us in Northside or like, you know, us in White mm-hmm. Oak. So that, that was always fun. Those games were always fun. So, yeah. That's dope. I hated Northside. I played football <laughs> against them and I hated them every <laughs> single time, every time. Yeah, no, they, they were tough. <laughs> they were tough for sure. So at you, you like you said, you play you played varsity your freshman year and you was recruited by Carolina your freshman year as well. So talk to me about how that recruitment process went and what made you choose UNC. Okay, yeah, so I definitely committed early. A lot of people say I committed early. A lot of people, like, you know, are like, are you sure about it, about your uh-huh. decision? I was, like, when I tell you I was dead on straight, like, for Carolina, like, I'm going to go there. Like, everybody was like, yeah, you're not going to, like, you know, we're from, because, like, being from Jacksonville, like, a lot of people don't really get out. Right. Not saying, like, you know, a lot of people don't go out and, like, you know, are recruited by these high schools, high, you know, high, you know, high-level schools or whatever, Um because, you know, it's such a small town, like, you know, not many people were not on the map as much, mm-hmm. but like, you know, I was dead on straight. Like, you know, I think I was, I was going to their, their games whenever I was like maybe seven, 
big in in elementary school because my sister was in middle school and they would come up to uh, go to some of the uh, the games and stuff and I was with them. Um, so just watching them, like you know, I just fell in love with Carolina itself and you know, just knowing that you know I wanted to be a part of that. So like you know, I just fell in love with. Carolina and like you know I've always stuck with it I'm mean, I, I didn't take my I anytime people were like you know you want to go to this school like I'm like no like I'm dead on like I'm I'm like that was literally my dream school so um yeah that's dope that's dope I wanted to play football for Carolina but obviously that didn't work out you know what I mean but <laughs> that's good. Good. <laughs> that's dope because that you know as a high school freshman like you like 13, 14 years old, and, yeah. and you already know what you want to do four years down the road. That's what's up. Yeah. I commend you yeah. for that because a lot of people can't actually right. grasp that whole concept at that age. Right. So mm -hmm. that's what's up. So you were also the number one player, uh, the number one prep school player in the country, correct? Yeah. And, at that time. So talk to me about. Oh, I think that, in North Carolina. Yeah. In North North Carolina. Carolina. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. North Carolina. Got you. So talk to me about that process and, and like just, just how you felt, you know, managing that pressure all throughout high school um definitely was no pressure at all like okay. you know I mean honestly like you know I know what my what my talent what I bring to the table right. um I know who I am like you know I don't think it was ever ever any pressure to try to try to um you know impress people like it, mm -hmm. I'm I'm playing the game that I love like why would I even care about like right. what other people think or like have that have that pressure on myself because I'm young like what like I'm young. I'm young for a reason. Like, you know, right. we're not, I'm not trying to take everything so serious. And I think I've learned that over the, over the years is like, you know, not being so serious with the sport that I love, like, you know, or not having that pressure. Like, you know, I am who I am. I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to make mistakes, but you know, at the end of the day, it, it's pushing me forward. And, I, and the only way that I can go is up. So it's like, you know, um, the process was, was very good. I mean, I continue to stay in the work it doesn't it didn't matter about you know if I was the number one per player uh in North Carolina or not or like you know whatever I was ranked in high school it was it was always like you know my work was going to show my work was going to continue to you know elevate so uh I was very proud of that um if anything it pushed me to you know be even better you know than you know than what than I was you know yesterday or yesterday or like last year so it was just like a, definitely just a push that's my that was my process with it with it all um it's just having fun and continue to stay in the gym because no matter what my work is going to pay off so wow that's a healthy mentality to have as a young athlete that's what's up yeah that's what's up so to, uh talk to me about your offseason uh training like what, what what are you working on right now um wait like skill wise i don't yeah, want to say too much part. okay say, okay no, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but no definitely um like my three ball you know being mm -hmm. more consistent at that um, getting my handles tighter, you know, everybody has something that they can work on on, on this off season. Uh, but I just know I'm staying in the gym, um, anywhere I go, any town, like, you know, I'm just staying focused, you know, saying, you know, I have a goal and what I want to do in this life and, um, uh, my, my career. So, um, I'm just going to continue to just keep working. Like, you know, I mean the three ball for sure. I'm, I'm working on that right now, um, yeah. off the catch and, you know, just, you know, off the dribble. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been pretty good. I mean, it's like, you know, of course I'm going to have those days where I'm like, dang, like, you know, it's ty tiring, whatever, mm -hmm. but it's what I want at the end of the day. So. I like that. Cause I can tell you've been working on it because your freshman year, you had the shot, but it wasn't as consistent as you may have liked it to have been. Mm -hmm. So last year, I, m I remember when, uh, at late night in HD, yeah. Um. I uh, I noticed that your handle and and your corner shot, just your your catch and shooting in general, really improved from your freshman year. So it's definitely paying off. Yeah. That's that's dope. That. I that's dope. That. Just um. So explain to me, talk to me about being a women's basketball player in general, and what it, what does it mean, especially in this new in this new age where, honestly, frankly, women are taking over. So just yeah. talk to me about that as a player. Um. So as a play as a player, like you know, I think that. Over over time, like you know, like I didn't really not not really care, but like you know, you see about the inequalities of like you know men and women, like you mm -hmm. know. But I think like as like as I grow older, I'm I I'm acknowledging how much like women's sports have evolved, um, and how much the game has evolved. Like you know, we're getting you know we're getting shifty. We're doing the things that like people are like dang like you 
know, she can hoop. Like, she, right. like not hoop like a dude, but, like, we, we have, like, some swag to us now. Like, you know, I think it's pretty cool to, to see that and, like, you know, to add to our game. Like, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, are saying, like, oh, like, no in the kitchen, like, you know, do, do this and that. But, like, no, it's totally changed, you know, now. Uh, and to be a part of that, I think it's it's been it's it's been very fun and a great experience because you're able to uh, able to use these use these skills that we were learning and training, like you know, and just uh, add it to the game, add it to our package. Um, and I think a lot a lot more people are tapping into the women's game because of how much it's it has evolved. We're not just all these, you know, we're not like I don't know how to explain it, but like we're we're not just these, you know women that just like you know are just too prissy or whatever right. anyway you know what i mean like you know it's just we're you know we can hoop too you know mm-hmm. we're, we're a part of this game and like you know we're growing it so much um that like a lot of people are focusing into you know the uh, the w the WNBA or like you know mm-hmm. just college sports you know a lot i think like from from this past year a lot a lot more people have been tapping in Absolutely. you know so and it's getting it's, it's getting somewhere but you know it's a start right now, but like, you know, it's going to continue to evolve. So I've been very proud of that to be a part of that. Right. So it's a blessing. I agree wholeheartedly because one thing I, I've always, I've noticed and, when sorry. I started, no, go ahead. And we're also like advocating for ourselves. Like, mm-hmm. I think that's been a big thing, a big push for us athletes because we want so much and know, know our potential. I think like, you know, a lot of, a lot of like, you know, sorry, I was covering the camera. Um, a lot of people, a lot of us are advocating for ourselves and wanting more, you know, and it, it's what we deserve. So, right. you know, definitely doing that. Yeah, I definitely agree because I, I think one thing that I realized when I started working in sports uh, full time was that women's basketball is so much more skillful than men's because I, because in my opinion, you know, the, of course the strength is not the same biologically, right. but it's so, you know what I'm saying? You guys don't have to, push everybody around to get to get to the lane. If you get to the lane, you really have to jet past your defender or you really have to pull a scholar digging Smith on them or, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I know everybody saw that the other night, you know, and you don't see that every day in the NBA. Not, not, not like you used to, and you don't see that every day in college uh, basketball in general. So I, I definitely think women's sports is taking a huge leap, especially basketball. Yeah. So going back to your, your uh, going back to, sophomore year you definitely had a, a a standout campaign you know you came back and nearly doubled your averages from your freshman year averaging 10 points five boards and two assists so you no know, with your with your numbers in the box score uh increasing dramatically like how do you push yourself to be better every day like how do you what what steps do you take besides just your rigorous training what what steps do you take mentally for yourself um mentally like I tell myself this every day like if I can get one percent better than I than I was yesterday like I think that's like the motto that I live by right now is just being able to have that one percent is going to translate every day like you know growing that is 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 worth more than just like you know having those inconsistent days like take one one percent out of what you just did and just grow from that like you know like everything every and i've been learning that like everything is a learning process like you know you're not going to be perfect um so you know you're going to make mistakes i have to tell myself this my family has to tell tell myself this whenever i get like amped up like where i'm just like you know shoot, like you know i'm stressing out kind of like it's not about that like you know this game is fun like you know so mentally just like you know having a little bit of grace for myself and that's what i you know i'm a very hard worker i'm a very like you know um i'm very hard on myself um and because i want so much and that's totally fine but like you know understanding that you know you're growing like you're growing in every every Mm -hmm. way possible um you know uh and continuing to stay on the on the floor you know on the floor on the court um to grow your game you know it's like you know stay in the gym like you know it's all gonna pay off like i said my work is always gonna pay off no matter who's gonna who sees it like you know i know myself that's where i stand by that like you know i i yeah, and I and I'm very like you know it's it's very you know nice to hear that you know I'm acknowledging it myself uh, because if you don't acknowledge it yourself, you can't ask for other people to do that. Absolutely. You know? So yeah, that's Absolutely. my mental steps and like you know how I how I like you know every day like the 
process of growing your my mental game. I love that. I love that. You got to be kind to yourself. You got to give yourself grace in order to grow. So yeah, I, exactly. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, obviously, like, you know, you're going to be hard. I'm going to be hard on myself. Right, like, right. You can't be too, you can't beat yourself down. Like, you're your worst enemy, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, just stay, do do what, do what your work and it'll pay off. Don't worry about the little things. Don't let them distract you from the bigger picture. Facts. That's, That's real. August 6th and 7th, you'll be holding your first skills and drills basketball camp. What made you want to host your own camp, man? What, where did where the inspiration come from? Um, I think like the inspiration, like you know, just like the amount of love and support that I've gotten over over this these past two years, like you know, I think it's it's it would be beneficial to like you know, um, give back to the community. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of kids, like from Jackson, like Jackson was a small town, like you know, a lot of people don't really, you know, or they they don't they don't, you know, really involve themselves with basketball. So like, why not? Like, you know, anybody can do it. Yeah, I did it. And I, that's, that's kind of where I want to go with it. It's like, you know, I did it myself. I was in your shoes. And if I have a goal, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, what you do, like, you know, people can end up like they can play soccer, but like, you know, just in general, like, you know, having that mental, like, like I was in the same shoes as you. Like be able to, you know, put that in perspective. Like, you know, you can you can make it out. You can do you can do this and that. Whatever you want, whatever you set your mind to. Like, you know, just go out there and do it. Like, you know, this is what I love, so why not? Um, so just giving back and just um, also just being able to, you know, teach people what I do in the day in life. Like, or like what I do like on the side, like you know, in on the court and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. What camps? What camps did you go to as a youngin that to help you, you know, build your game? Um. So I went to. Uh, okay, so I went to Grants Creek. Um. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Anyways, yeah. So I went to Grants Creek camp. That was actually in Jacksonville. Okay. Uh, I went to a bunch of camps in Jacksonville. I think like East Coast camp, like you know, just uh, a bunch of mini camps. But then like I also went to college camps where it just helped me. Um you know see see talent out there um uh it also helped me with like skill and development uh but also uh get my name out there so um those were some little camps that i did um but other than that it was just working out for real so working out with older people i I grew up playing against like bigger and stronger i was playing against boys um so it's definitely helped my game so yeah okay now individually for this upcoming season what are your expectations for yourself and like you know how what what can how how far can you see yourself going individually this season uh i can go very far um definitely growing trying to grow myself from last year being a little bit more creative with the ball um and just balling out for real i mean i I ain't trying to say too much for real but you know i got big i got big expectations i got um, I got big things that I want to do this year. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to help lead my team um, to, you know, a final four, or, you know, a champion, ACC championship, um, trying to go all the way for real. So um, if we can go to that national championship, that's great. You know, I'm trying to do whatever it takes, really. I think, you know, I, my biggest thing is winning um, and defense wins games. Um, so it's just about, you know, doing anything that I that is necessary for the team to win so no doubt, no doubt. now I got one more question for you. Uh, you you know I gotta bring this up I gotta talk about a little money so the NIL you know as we know name image and likeness you know going around the country has been it's been amazing to modern day college athletes what are the benefits and how has it benefited you as a person you know outside of the classroom outside of the court how has it benefited you to be able to produce the way you need to yeah um it's been able it's been pretty good actually you know uh i went to the nil summit like last june last june yeah um so definitely that was a a good chance um to like actually learn about nil i mean this was our first year doing it um and i i didn't want to jump into it um so quickly because i because i myself didn't know you know much about or you know I didn't want to get myself into that I didn't know about um so I think like in the future like a lot of things are coming my way um 
a lot of things are going to come my come my way. Um, but it's been good. I mean, the way <sighs> I've learned a lot. Okay. <laughs> And I know how, how to go about things now uh, okay. with the guidance and assistance from, like, you know, people that I know, um, other athletes, like, you know, just it's, it's we're all in the same boat. And, um, yeah, it's only up from here. <laughs> That's real. That's dope. So, uh, so do you have, like, an agent or something that, that helps you get these deals or does it, you know, just go through? So, so you can actually go out and get, get deals yourself. You can also okay. have the agent. Um, I, um, yeah. Okay. You have any dream NIL places, you know, somewhere you you want to get that bag from or you want, want another I'm, meal at another restaurant? I want to do Nike. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're moving forward. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. So we're yeah. going to... Gotta get somewhere for sure. So y'all got the Jordan brand, so you got the hook up. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's dope. That's dope. Hey man, that's a wrap. It's been a good one with Kennedy Ty Williams, UNC women's basketball guard. I appreciate you. Tell, tell everybody where they can find you on social media and what you have coming up. Okay, um, so uh, Instagram, you can find me on uh, K Todd Will or Ken Toddy, my bad. Uh, Twitter, K Todd Willie, uh, TikTok, Ken Toddy. So uh, tap in with me. Um, I'm here to chat. I'm a very friendly person. Cool people. Um, thank you, James, for having me. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Um, much love and success to you always. Um, sure, so, sure. Yes. Don't forget about me when you make it to the league. Hey, I, I got you. <laughs> Don't worry about that. For real, I got you. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, it's the More Muse Podcast. I'm your boy, OG. Peace.